Hello everyone, I'm Liam from Gaming Brits, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Invasion mod for Minecraft on client version 1.4.7 and on the server version 1.4.7. First thing we need to do is go into Minecraft and enter in our details. And I would recommend force updating so you have the newest version of Minecraft. Right, so now that is done, we can quit. We can see we're on 1.4.7, so that's good. We can quit and then we'll go to start and in this search, we will go percent app data percent and we'll see our Minecraft file here with the bin and the resource and everything. So what we are firstly going to do is to go to the Minecraft forum and download the necessary files. All these links will be in the description. Um, but you need to go, you will want to go to the forum to check it out anyway. And if you have any problems, you want to go there too. So you want to invasion mod, it's on the Minecraft forum. Link to this will be in the description. And we want to download the universal one. And you want to download um, Minecraft Forge from here. So these two are the only two things you need. I've already got them and so I'm going to go back into app data into our Minecraft into our bin and open up Minecraft drag this to the right now first thing I'm going to do is delete meta inf and then we're going to open up the Minecraft uh, forge using WinRAR you'll need WinRAR I was saying I forgot to mention WinRAR is important to open RAW files like this. So you want to click on the top one and scroll down to the bottom, control, shift, and then press the bottom one and then drag these into the Minecraft jar file. Once that's done, you can close Forge and close Minecraft jar as well. You can then want to run Minecraft again to initialize Minecraft Forge. And now that's done, we can close Minecraft and then go back into our .minecraft and we'll see these new folders that have been made. Um, what we are going to want to do is drag this to the right, open up the invasion mod. Oh no, we don't need to open it up, sorry. All you need to do is drag the raw file for invasion mod, copy it and paste it into the mod folder. Just as simple as that. Once that's done, you can launch Minecraft again. And we will see that the mod has been initialized. So that's, that's worked. Next thing we are going to do is installing Invasion Mod on a Minecraft 1.4.7 server. So to do this, firstly I'm going to create a new folder. Call it Invasion Mod. And we're going to drag the Minecraft server into that folder. So then next what I'm going to do is go to the Minecraft.net website. And then go to the download section and in here is an important thing, important piece of text that we need to copy and paste. So just copy that, control C. And then in the folder, you want to go to new, text document, I'm going to call it run, open it up, and paste that little bit of text in there. Then from here, we are going to file, save as. The type is going to be all files, and we're going to add the extension .bat on the end. This will allow us to run the, uh, the Minecraft jar, and the world will create a new spawn. This is a dump, we can press stop. And that will close. So now what we want to do is take our um, two folders that are we, they're universal because they work on both the client and the server. So as long as you download the universal one you'll be fine. 
uh, you want to go to the Minecraft server and open that up with WinRAR. Now this time do not delete MetaInf, all you want to do is open up the Minecraft Forge again, select the top one, scroll down, select the bottom one, and hold a control shift, and then drag that into the Minecraft server.jar. Click OK and then we can close that. And then what we're going to do is launch the server again and initialize Minecraft Forge. And now that's done, we can type in stop. I just noticed that the GUI is launching. I'm just going to uh, right click, edit, and take off the uh, period from the end and save that. And then the GUI shouldn't launch again. So we'll see, like in the client, some folders have been created for us. We're going to open up the mods folder and copy invasion mod paste into there. And it's as simple as that when you click run. Uh, the server will load in the uh, invasion mod mod. And while that's going, we'll open up Minecraft. Click login. And then I will direct connect to my local IP. I'm just going to quickly up myself. Right. And now in creative mode. So if we look in the search, we can type in uh, these are the objects. Now these objects are bound to our client. Um, and to test that they work in the server, we'll just take it and throw it on the floor. And we can tell it's working. If that had been thrown on the floor and the server was compatible with this mod, the server would crash because there is an unknown entity in the, that is being dropped in the world. But it hasn't, which is a good sign, which means that the mod is now working. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching this uh, quick tutorial and uh, please like the video um, I'd appreciate it help if you have any questions please feel free to comment though I will not be able to help you with any problems related to port forwarding or your friends can't connect if you want to look how to do that search other videos there are loads on YouTube how to set up a Minecraft server it's all about port forwarding or using Hamachi or something like that and if you haven't already, check out our new Invasion Mod series that we have. A uh, link to that will, will be in the description along with all of the other uh, links that you need for this video. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.